Okay, you guys, this lesson is on multiplying radicals. Sorry, I have a scratchy voice again this morning. Uh, hopefully it comes back at some point. So <clears throat> when you multiply radicals, the first thing that you do is you need to multiply the coefficients. So remember, the coefficient is the number that is in front of the radical. And then after you multiply the coefficients, you are going to multiply the radicands. Remember the radicands are the numbers that are underneath the square root. The square root with that number is called the radicand. And then the product rule <clears throat> says that if you multiply something underneath the radical with something else underneath the radical, you can combine those and write that answer to that product uh, underneath the radical. So let's go ahead and look at number one. Um, we have 1 root 8 times by negative 3 root 2. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to multiply the coefficients. So the coefficient of this one is a 1. The coefficient of this one is a negative 3. So 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. And then we're going to multiply the radicand. So we're going to take the square root of 8. We're going to multiply by the square root of 2. So that's going to be the square root of 8 times 2, which is... 16. And then you guys know, or I guess you should know that 16 is a perfect square. So when you take the square root of 16, you actually get a 4. So this part right here really be, just becomes a 4. So you have negative 3 times by positive 4, which is negative 12, final answer. Okay, so after you multiply the coefficients, you multiply the radicands and then you simplify the resulting radical. So let's go ahead and look at number two. We have square root of three times by negative square root of two. So remember this is one square root of three, that's the coefficient for that one. This is negative one square root of two. <clears throat> so one times negative one is negative one. And then we wanna do the square root of three times by the square root of two, which is the square root of six. And then six is a prime number, and so that radical cannot be simplified any further. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the next one. We have five root 10, that's our coefficient is five. We have negative seven root 12, our coefficient is negative seven. So the way that we do this is we multiply the two coefficients. Five times negative seven is negative 35. And then we're going to multiply the 10 with the 12 which is 120. And then 120 is not a prime number. So we need to simplify this. Remember that you guys can use your calculators to simplify these. So I'm gonna just do it by hand really quick. So once I do all the prime factors, my prime factors are two, two, three, two, and five. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So when I simplify that, I do have a pair of 2s that I can bring out. Um, remember, we already have a negative 35 out front. So when I bring that pair of 2s out as 1, 2, it's got to multiply by that 35. And then underneath the radical, 2 times 3 times 5 would be 6 times 5, which is 30. So final answer, negative 35 times 2 is negative 70 root 30. Okay, now you guys can put these right in your calculator as they're written. So let's go ahead and try the next one um, using your calculator. So in your calculator, and I want everyone to try this, make sure you have a calculator, make sure you are putting this in your calculator. So you're going to put in negative 4 root 14. So you just put it in the calculator just like it is. Negative 4 root 14. And then you're going to multiply that. So then you do arrow over, and then you do times by, and then you put 2 root 8 in the calculator just like it is. Um, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And then um, <coughs> 14 times 8 is 112. 
So this is what I get when I do it by hand. And then um, we can simplify the 112. Uh, 112 factors to 2 and 56, and then 56 would factor to 8 and 7, 8 would factor to 4 and 2, 4 would fa factor to 2 and 2. So I have a 2, a 2, a 2, and a 2, and a 7. So you can see we have two pairs of 2s that can come out front. So I already have the negative 8. I'm going to multiply by one of the twos. I'm going to multiply by the other two. And then underneath my radical, I have seven. So in your calculators, you should have gotten a negative 32 root seven. Okay, let's talk about using the distributive property with multiplication of radicals. So the way that this works is just like when we did the distributive property with our um, last unit when we were simplifying expressions. So when you have a number right next to a parenthesis, remember in math that is implied multiplication. And if you have more than one term inside your parenthesis, then both of those terms, the three and the square root of eight, both of those terms have to get multiplied by the number that's out front. So square root of six times three is three square roots of six. Square root of 6 times square root of 8 is square root of 48. And then let's go ahead and just use our calculators to simplify the square root of 48. When you do the square root of 48 in your calculator, you get 4 root 3. So 3 root 6 plus 4 root 3. And then these are not like terms, so this would be our final answer. So let's go ahead and try a couple more examples. Let's try number um, 11. So square root of 15, that's the number that's right next to our parenthesis. We have to multiply that by a 2. We also have to multiply by the square root of 5. So square root of 15 times 2 is going to be 2 square roots of 15 plus, when I do the square root of 15 in my calculator times by the square root of 5, I get 5 root 3. Okay, so that would be our final answer. Okay, um, number 12, let's go ahead and try this one. <clears throat> so make sure you're trying these in your calculator to make sure you're getting the right answers. Okay, so three root 10, we have to multiply that by five. So in your calculator, you're gonna put three root 10, and then you're going to multiply by five, and you get 15 root 10 plus. Then you are going to do the 3 root 10, and you are going to multiply that by 4 root 2, and you get 24 root 5. Again, these are not like terms, so this is our final answer. Um, let's just try a couple more, and then I think you guys will be ready to do your assignment for today. So on number 13, we're using the distributive property. Um, the one thing I want to remind you about is inside your parenthesis, this is a positive 3 root 10, but this right here is a negative 3 root 6. Remember, if there's a subtraction sign, sorry, there was an announcement, but if there's a subtraction sign in front of your parenthesis or in front of your term, remember that term is negative. So in our calculators, we are going to do the negative sign and then 2 root 3, and we're going to arrow over. And then we're going to multiply by 3 root 10. And we get negative 6 root 30. And the nice thing about using your calculator is if it can simplify the radical, or if the radical simplifies, the calculator will take care of that. Okay, and then on the next one, be careful about putting in both signs. This is a negative 2 root 3, and this is a negative 3 root 6. So in your calculator, you're going to put in negative 2 root 3, and then you're going to multiply that by negative 3 root 6, and that's going to be 18 root 2 positive. Okay, and then um, last example, negative 4 root 2. 
times by root 6, and that's negative 8 root 3. And then we have negative 4 root 2 that we are multiplying by 3 root 14, and that gives us negative 24 root 7. And then neither one of these are like terms. One of them has a root 3, the other one has a root 7, so we can't combine them. This is our final answer. Okay, so now at this point, uh, you're going to do your assignment for today. Looks like this. Um, you're going to do all of the front page. And then once you've done all of the front page, you're going to turn it over. And for today, I want you to do the odds, the odds of the back page. Um, the sub has your answer key. So when you're done with this, uh, bring it back, correct it, off, correct it with the sub, make sure that you have, um, make sure you fix any that you missed, and then turn that in, and then you're going to move on to your other assignments that are on Canvas. So on Canvas, you'll see for today, if you go to Modules, and then go to Expressions, and then October 17th, um, we already did the lesson video, so make sure you turn in those notes. Uh, you're going to do your assignment. Remember, you're doing all of the first page. You're doing odds on the back. You're going to bring those back, check them off with the sub, and then you are going to do the assignment that's on Canvas called More Multiplying Radicals. Okay, see you in tomorrow's video.